Well, the onset of fall weather is certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley. And we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi's Stadium. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Nick Bosa. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. If they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory, that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game. Yeah, one thing you always say when you go on the road, take the crowd out of the game. They actually brought the crowd into it by permitting that sack right out of the gate. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now here's Mahomes. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And out will come the offense as they take over. The slot man in motion right. Here's Purdy. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. In motion left goes a tight end. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. The throwing here, Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 21 yards there on third down. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. Over the middle complete. That's Mason. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now a give right side. It's Mason. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. Purdy. Pressure comes and down he goes. Like a freight train there. Derek Naughty with a sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Out of the gun, Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. 
but it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Now Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 27-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And you use the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Now a give right side. It's Mason. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. And his kick is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust. That's caught inside the 20. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. A big play there for KC. 61 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst. Nice gain, too. From the four, it's second and a couple. Mahomes going to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Touchdown! Justin Watson from four yards out. And the Chiefs have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. 
they'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board, but this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Balled it to 26, second and seven. Birdie. Open man is Samuel, complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and three. I think defensively you're okay with that. And you're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you can... And it's a fumble! And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Able to find Gray here. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Noah Gray. 34 yards and the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead and what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time and that's exactly what he did there caught that ran with it all the way to the end zone extra point by Butker is on target and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Purdy now to throw off the play action. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. To throw again on second down. Purdy gets this one to use check. Seven yards there and a first down. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the Waves able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the 46. They run the counter. Mason, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Purdy off the play fake. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. George Karloftis just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Well, certainly not an ideal first quarter for him. Remember, he lost the fumble earlier, and here he ends up on the ground with a sack. And sometimes what happens when you make a mistake early, you get too cautious going forward. Just cover up the football and take care of it and be able to cut it loose. Otherwise, your offense is going to stall. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. 
Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now Mahomes. And his pass incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Matt Arisen now on to punt this one away. That's taken on the 25. A punt of 46, a return of 5. And they will take over first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Completes it to Jennings. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, a 14-3 ball game. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. In motion goes the tight end. Shotgun now with Purdy. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. he will get this down to the 38. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 38 now, here's second and six. Purdy looking to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he'll get this down to the 32. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Kittle with the nice hands there, and he's coming off yet another all-pro season in which he was a lone player at his position to eclipse 1,000 yards for the year, and he only needed 65 catches to do it. Once he grabs the ball, good luck getting him on the ground. They'll look to throw now on first down. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. They go play action here, Purdy. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Purdy now to throw. 
And he's going to go down again. Tershawn Wharton, he's the one that drops him this go around. And that pass rush getting strong here. Back-to-back -back sacks. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And incomplete on the deep ball. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they'll begin by running the option. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. From the 21, here's second down and seven. Purdy from the gun. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. Here's Purdy. That's Samuel caught left side. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. The throwing here, Purdy. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. 
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Now a second and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Ayuk goes in motion. Now Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing, and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You gotta make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. And the reinforcements come in as they're gonna stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And it doesn't matter who carries it, apparently, as they'll drop him behind the line as well. He lost four there, and it's third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. On the screen, this is Mason. Shoves him aside. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. On fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick here is good. And that'll get the lead down to five. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. This second and four. Now here's Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First catch on that one for Kelsey, and it's a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Hunt will try going up the middle. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Oh. 
Mahomes going to throw. And it's incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. Now they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Mahomes now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 37. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? Yeah, they should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. His throw incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Here's second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He finds his man complete. It's Steele. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. And his throw is incomplete. Then their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Second and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down first and 10. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here? This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Mahomes to throw once more. And this is going to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. He hits his target, left side, Watson. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. They'll come up now, third and three. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Butker's kick here is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Yeah. 
So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 26. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that's caught downfield by Kittle. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 36 yards on the play. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner, great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He's got Mason complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now a give right side. It's Mason. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's third and three. Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Well, you have to be aware defensively that you've got two goals because obviously you're trying to prevent the touchdown, but you're also trying to keep it from getting a first down as well. That time they weren't up to the task, and it's first and goal. Purdy looking to throw. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the 49ers have cut the lead back down to two. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just haven't been able to punch it in until that point. Throws right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And able to get this out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Chiefs first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. 
I know I'm an old defender, but I've got to give credit where credit's due. That was smart play calling right there on third and four. They didn't need to do too much. Just let their guy get out there and sit down in the zone. And they hit him for the completion for the first down. Now it's Mahomes again. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down and three. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And no hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 28. That one good for 26 and a first down. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Here's Mahomes to throw. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Nick Bosa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game in the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Butker's kick here is good. And with that, they take the lead here 20 to 17. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think you'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, well, I wouldn't change it. it up until they showed me a reason to do so. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now Purdy. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Third and 12. Back to throw, Purdy. Looking deep for Jennings. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, 49ers. Jerron Jennings, 71 yards. And the 49ers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go.
And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Now Mahomes. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Mahomes going to throw. Got a man over the middle, Worthy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Throwing on second and long, Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you'd like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. From midfield, here's Mahomes. He's across midfield, and he will have a Chiefs first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage, so they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And Watson has it right side. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 33. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On play action, it's Mahomes. Gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Ten more there and another first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and ten here as we roll along in quarter number three from Santa Clara. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Mahomes now to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Mahomes to throw once more. 
A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now here's Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Xavier Worthy from three yards out. And the Chiefs have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, C.D. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a very solid return out across the 45-yard line before going out of bounds. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. The throwing here, Purdy. Got a man, that's IU. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll run here with Mason. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Purdy gets this one to use check. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. And as a quarterback, you're always pleased when you can use all the weapons at your disposal. Here he spots his fullback underneath, gets the completion right there for a nice pickup. So from the 37, here's second and three. Purdy now to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And he's taken down. A chief sack. George Karloftis able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. 
And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm, but this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. A quick throw there is incomplete. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and ten. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it'll be fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it stand up. This is brought in at the 21. It's a net of 40 there. A punt of 48 and a return of 8. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Purdy looking to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. And they've got to go thank the guys on D. Now Mason. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Purdy from the gun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down. And he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. I don't care how many times we say it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And that is incomplete. Well, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle they go. Mason. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play. They're holding the no game. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Purdy. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Mason. 
And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. So offensively on this drive, two a two on third downs, and now they face a third and inches. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Niners have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well that they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. He'll look to throw. And that's off the mark, incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Mahomes fighting through pressure. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Calling a gain of three on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively. And they stop him well short. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether That's it's the simple, guys huh? up front or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the uh, football. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Mason. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. They'll run on first down. Mason, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Back to throw, Purdy. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Now Purdy. Through the middle of the field. They'll have the first down and more than that. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Brandon Ayuk, 64 yards. And the Niners use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Extra point right down the middle, and that pushes the lead up to 11. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline. And now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. He finds his man complete. It's Steele. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. From the 33, here's second down and one. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That's caught right side by Worthy. And they get him to the ground quickly, but he's out near midfield at the 49-yard line. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. This is second and eight. They'll send the tight end in motion. Now it's Mahomes again. He finds his receiver, Watson. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 34-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Mahomes going to throw. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. They'll try again here, second and ten. Mahomes now to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down, but a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning.
On play action, it's Mahomes. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Mahomes, that's into the hands of Worthy. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Well, the faithful in full roar here in Santa Clara. This is third down. Mahomes. He'll complete this one to Watson. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Mahomes. This is caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Justin Watson. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for that. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And the 49er hands team does its job. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. That was an excellent come-from-behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come-from-behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com.
The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.